All right, welcome back. So I've got here with me an Ibanez, Ibanez um, AWG60 ENLA, if you want to know the rest. So AWG stands for Artwood Guitar. 60 is the uh, series, 60, in a higher model, and um, electric nylon cutaway. It's got a solid spruce top, rosewood back inside, brand new tuners, um, and the great, beautiful uh, Abanez Electronics, which has a uh, three band EQ, including treble, middle, bass, and a mid frequency, also known as a notch, and then volume, and the um, power button. It runs a 9 volt battery. Now, mm -hmm. Ibanez is probably one of the oldest guitar companies in the world. It started in 1908. Back then it was called the Hoshino Gaki, Hoshino Company, they made guitar until uh, 1957, they changed the name to Ibanez, and so on. It's a long history. Uh, Ibanez uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, they started copying um, Gibson guitars and all the other famous brand guitars. But at the same time, they make their own guitars, such as this one here, which is not a copy of anything, um, or anyone actually. Now, this guitar is a slim line, yeah? It's a slim line guitar compared to the traditional, see the difference, yeah? So it's more comfortable to hold on stage. The guitar was designed for stage use, for performance use. So treat it as if it was an electric guitar, not acoustic, okay? Because having a smaller body, thinner body, of course, obviously, it won't have the same volume, same dynamics. Um, the mistake people make most of the time is that they treat uh, performance guitar, slimline body guitar, as if it were a full body size guitar and that's not realistic, obviously. Um, each guitar is designed for a different purpose. Another mistake people make is they expect the slimline body or electrified guitars to have the same volume or resonance. And that's totally wrong because if the top was to be very resonant, you get a lot of feedback. Okay? So, People come here and say, Neil, can you install a preamp or pickup on my solid top guitar? Right, concert guitar. I said, no, 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 no. You get a cheaper guitar, cheaper, you know, um, a guitar with a stiffer top, so it doesn't resonate much. And then we can put a pickup on it because if you were to put the pickup or the preamp on a solid body guitar, you get so much feedback, you wish you didn't do it. Okay, so buy two guitars, one for acoustic use and one with stiffer top for performance, for state use. In fact, um, to stop the top from vibrating so much, they use what's called a feedback buster or feedback killer, which is a, a piece of plastic um, rubber and you cover the hole there, make it less resonant. Okay, and one of the reasons why electric guitars, most electric guitars are solid top, solid body, is because they don't have um, resonance, they don't vibrate. Okay, so don't mix up the two. You buy a good guitar, a acoustic guitar, keep it acoustic. Okay, you want to electrify it, buy a cheaper guitar, okay, laminate top if possible, and then you install the pickup. And that will get rid of all the issues such as on the stage, such as feedback and so on. Okay. So let's have a listen to this guitar. It's an electric guitar, okay? Now you can you can um, use it acoustically, but for practice or just to hear yourself at night and evening. But don't expect it to sound like that guitar, like solid top, okay? Yeah. Here we go. So some some demo of this wonderful Albanese guitar.
Yeah, so it's got um, beautiful bass. Of course, it depends on how you set the EQ here. So you get more bass, or less bass. Same with the mid, less mid, more mid. So uh, and less treble, more treble. So it depends on the um, on the amp you have, on how big the room is and how many people are there and what kind of floors or car carpets or curtains are there so you adjust it there the EQ is never fixed okay so you go to the room uh, where you're performing and what's what you do you sweep so you play some there somewhere there is nice for the uh, bass and then meet there and the treble there. So, so for a room like this, that'd be nice, nice and warm. Okay, maybe a bit brighter. Yeah. So it very depends. Um, some people better know how to use the EQ, so we set it all straight or V shape. But again, uh, you want to make the most of your guitar. Learn to use it, and the best way to learn to use EQ is to sweep the bands. Once you've got the EQ. Then you sweep the notch, which is like this. Somewhere there. So basically, the notch takes some. Um, notch is hard to explain. Notch is getting rid of a certain frequency or take all the frequency bring it up. So basically, you find your. Your EQ, the you EQ, we like it, and then you can bring the whole thing up or down. Yeah? It's a brand new string. Okay. Um, yeah. So, ah. The um the Abanez, um from the late seventies and, and early eighties, uh, like this one here, they used to come set up with a very low action. Okay, so they um they set up nylon string action as if it was a steel string guitar action, which is two mil here on the sixth string and one point five or one point seven five on the first string at 12 fret and that's very very low too low for the nylon string so you might get biased sometimes this is good this doesn't have i fixed it already so what you want to do if you get one of those old guitar is to raise the action a bit and the way you do it is you get an old credit card or bank card or anything plastic cut a strip the same with this and put it underneath so that will raise it by a third of a mil half a mil up here high enough for the string to clear the frets and the bars okay so if you want, want to see how to do it um, put a comment and actually make a video and show you how to do that so watch out for uh, the action of the old Avanese guitars they are very very low Beautiful. Okay, so this is the Ibanez AWG um, 60 ENLA. Okay, uh, you can find more information on my website. Um, any comments, write below. Give us a thumb up if you like the video. If you don't like it, give us a thumb up anyway. <laughs> uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video in about half a minute for this beautiful Matsuoka and 30. Okay, cheers.